Hey, good morning. I'm Marcel and this is Sean. We're teaching together each day yoga in this 2020 and you're welcome to join whenever you feel like it. So today we're going with, with the topic sensitivity sensitivity good we're doing a lot of fire as well today so we're coming into our senses today also yes sensitivity and senses so what do you smell at the moment so please come to a sit uh, either up on a chair or on a sitting pillow or on up on some books so you can sit for some few minutes uh, comfortably whenever this becomes uncomfortable uh, please you're allowed to change your seat and yeah, have fun so breathe in deeply imagine that you're pulled up by a rope that is attached to your head Get long through the spine, especially when you breathe in, get longer through the spine, place the hands where they feel comfortable. And let's connect here to your senses. Do you feel in your body? What do you hear? Obviously closing the eyes, you don't you still see black, right? Do you taste? And when you breathe in, get longer through the spine. Breathing out. Go with your own breath here. Just make your breath as deep as possible. First in your belly, then in your breast area. Now integrate the hands into the movement, so breathing in, extending them into the sky. Breathing out, letting them go down by the sides, connecting to your breath, breathing in, raising the hands, getting long, breathing out, releasing the hands down in your own time with your own rhythm of breath. And releasing the hands, placing one hand on the floor, extending the other hand, getting longer through the side. Breathing out, coming through the middle, placing the other hand on the floor, extending from the bottom of the hips, the top of the fingers, getting long, also leaving the other side body long so we're not bending at this moment like this we're extending coming 
back to the middle and coming forward and coming to all fours into a cat cow so all fours on the floor make sure your alignment is correct this means hips over knees shoulders over wrists and from here we, we start start arcing from the lower back slowly up breathing in uh, breathing out from the top of the head down go vertebra by vertebra for maximal effect <laughs> breathing in deeply looking forward breathing out going down from the top of the head down slowly I mean connect with your breath And then come back to middle, neutral, and from here you can go a little bit crazy, you can do whatever you feel like, you can bend the elbows, you can like make an, an endless eight with your hips, you can shift yourself back to the heels, you can come forward, completely forward. And just try to check in with your body what feels good at this moment. What does your body need? Checking in with your body. Let's place the knees a little bit outside, big toes together and shift yourself completely back into a child's pose. Extend your hands in front of you and release the head down. This has got my, my favorite stretch position at this moment. And you can so release the um, hips towards the heels, close your eyes, release the head onto the floor, extend the hands as much as in front as possible, breathing in deeply. And then coming up again, placing the hands a little bit more forward, place the hands firmly on the ground so all the mounts of the fingers are also pushing into the ground. And from here we extend our feet a little bit more back, shift our hips up and come into a downward facing dog. You can also bend the knees here a little and just go for a little walk. Engage your muscles here in the arms, in your body, in your belly. Doesn't need to look really nice. It does only need to feel good in this moment. So. And then from here, we extend the right leg, maybe bring the left leg a bit, little bit more to the middle, extend the right leg up into the sky. So hips are still parallel here, breathe in one more time. And you breathe out, bring it in front to your chest.
breathe in one more time here and then breathe out, extend the leg again. Let's go a little bit faster, breathe in, come forward to the right knee, breathe out, extend, breathing in to the left elbow, knee to the left elbow, extending. And placing it on the floor again, going for a walk again. Maybe it feels a little bit different. Who knows? Check in with yourself. Then extend the other leg into the air, breathing in deeply. Bringing the front to the breast. Breathe in here one time. Breathe out, extend. Okay, breathe in here. And when you breathe out, come forward. I did it wrong before, so let's do it right now. Breathe in here, one. Breathe out, go back. And breathe in. And to the left knee, to the right elbow. And shift back. Calm down and Go still for a little walk and come come to good stance. Press your fingers in, your index finger mount especially. Then root good with your toes and bring your knees as much down as you can. Breathing in deeply here. Engaging the muscles in the hands, in the, in the arms, and coming back up, placing knees down, knees outside, big toes together, and shifting yourself back to child's pose for a moment. time deeply in, shifting yourself back up into downward facing dog, looking forward to the hands, breathing in, when you breathe out, step forward and come up completely. So yeah, with a straight back if possible, breathe in deeply, extend the hands into the air, breathe out, bring the hands together in front of your heart. Check in with your body. How do you feel? What do you hear? What do you smell? What do you taste? As today we are connecting with the senses. Release the arms down, breathe in deeply, extend the hands, breathe out, bend forward, release completely here, you can go a little bit more into your knees if you like, breathe in deeply, rise up halfway, check that your lower back is straight, you can put one hand at the lower back. Your hips should be approximately over the heels. So maybe uh, a lot of weight is over the toes. Breathe out, extend forward, place the hands on the floor firmly. Step left leg back, right leg back, shift yourself back into downward facing dog. Breathe in here. Come forward into plank pose, either knees down or knees up. And when you breathe out, come down. Slowly, slowly, elbows 90 degrees, then release the hips down, coming completely down. Breathing in here, rooting the feet down into the floor, pressing the knees down into the floor, drawing the belly button in and up, so belly in and up, 
and now thinking forward and up coming into a little upward facing dog and releasing here shifting back through the knees into downward facing dog breathing in deeply looking forward to the hands and stepping or jumping forward releasing the body here maybe come a little bit more into your knees grab onto your elbows and swing side to side Breathe in deeply, put your hands on the hips, elbows pointing upward, come more into your knees and stand up a straight back. Bring your hands into the air, into the sky, breathe in deeply. Bring them in front of your heart. Release the hands. Bring the hands up again, breathe in deeply. Let's go one more time. And breathe, breathe out, lean forward. Breathe in. Raise halfway, breathe out, place the hands on the floor, right leg back, left leg back, shift the hips up into the sky, breathing in deeply, coming forward into plank position, here we go down, slowly 90 degrees with the elbows, then releasing the hips down completely, placing the foot already really rooted, knees rooted, draw in the belly in and up and come forward and up, think forward and up, maybe go a little bit deeper here and then release again, shifting yourself back into downward facing dog, breathing in here deeply, looking forward to the hands when you breathe out, either jump or step forward, releasing the body forward, Letting it like hang forward. <laughs> Come a little bit more into your knees, maybe. Or maybe straighten them. When you straighten them, make sure the hips are over the heels. Then breathe in deeply. Place the hands on the hips, elbows pointing up or come more into your knees and stand up straight. Extend the hands into the sky, breathe in deeply. Bring it then in front of your heart. And release the hands. Come to the front of your mat now. And we shift all our weight to the left leg here. And then we step back with the right leg, we turn it 90 degrees. And we come into warrior two here. Here the just find a good rooted position here first, then check that the front knee is over the heel and the back leg is engaged like straight. Breathe in deeply and we want our hips to be sideways and keeping the front knee where it is. Exactly. When you when you have this stance, stand the hands up to the sides, and when you breathe in, get longer here. You can turn your hands if you like, putting the shoulders on the back and turn them again, releasing, uh, leaving the shoulders where they are, keeping the shoulders where they are and looking forward to the front hand. When you breathe in, get longer through your body, get longer through to your head, get longer from both ends of the fingers. And engage the muscles also a little in the feet. Then we straighten our front foot we still let our hands be engaged and uh, long on the sides. We come a little bit forward, think somebody is drawing you forward. And then we come down, we grab on to whatever, wherever we come. Check in with your bellies, draw it in a little bit and up. And bring your hand up 
bring the shoulders onto the back breathe in deeply here and release come back up and come back forward slowly come down and step up in your own time find your own way forward to the mat be mindful we change the sides so we do the same thing I just change it like this all the weight to the right leg bring the left leg back good finding a good position first be rooted here into the floor find good connection to the floor then check your front knee or the front heel when you have that check that you're sideways with the hips extend the hands turn the hands around bring the shoulders onto the back leaving the shoulders where they are turn the hands again around then look forward to your front hand and breathe in deeply get longer through the body through the fingers breathing out taking up more space really get big today get long and then again straighten the front leg draw forward so somebody's drawing you forward then pulling in the belly a little bit in and Come down, grab onto wherever you can on the leg, maybe not completely on the knee, maybe above or below. And then bring the shoulders onto your back. Trikonasana. Breathing in deeply, get longer. And breathing out, slowly come back, bring the foot back, and come forward in the way that feels good to you. Good. Let's come to the middle of the mat, if you have a middle of the mat, and let's just jump, relax, relax the shoulders, relax the head, so the head can jump too, if that's okay with you. Relax all the body, maybe find some tensions in your body like this. You can jump a little bit side to side if you like. You can just jump higher, jump out of the knees. So many possibilities. And we are going to jump for about a minute. Closing your eyes here as well. Into Releasing the head. Good. Let's go ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, slowly slow down. Four, three, two, one. Good. Open the eyes again. Extend the hands to the sides. And we're going to do an exercise that I learned from a friend. Engage the belly. Get long, like through, through the whole body up here. And we're going to lean right keeping the keeping the head like side uh, integrated with your body and to the other side you don't want to lift your so the the left leg or the right leg uh, are lifted on their own kind of if you want to feel what your muscles are doing can grab onto your 
to your um, sides of the body, of the of your belly, sides of the belly, and you should feel an engagement when you lean to the left. You should feel an engagement at the right, and when you feel lean to the le uh, right, should feel an engagement on the left side. So you feel the muscles there, and you want to keep your body in uh, your head in line with the body. So you don't want to do this with if you had this. <laughs> want to keep the head in line with the body, integrated with the body, whole body is integrated here. And let's go to the right, hold it there for a moment. You can also extend the hand, see if that feels better to you. Smile here as well. And then release, go the other side. And release, come back to the middle. How does your body feel? Check in a little. And then come into a little bit more wide stance. We're going to swing our hands. Make sure you have a little bit space around of you so your hands are not slapping against anything. Imagine your hands are wet towels. We do the movement coming from our belly button left and right. We want to slap the wet towels against our body and then also keep the knees engaged. So knees are strong, they are not really moving. All the movement is coming from the belly. You can either look left and right with your head or you can look also straight. This gives you a little bit more um, juice into your spine if you do that. Other than that, this gives a really great massage to your wrists, to your hips, to your shoulders. Especially if you're a lot if you're working a lot in front of the computer, this is an awesome exercise. And release all the muscles in the hands. And from here we go slower again. Let's count down. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, get slower, four, three, two, one, completely stop, close your eyes here for a moment, maybe feel still a little bit a movement side to side, and if you feel that this is your center, the body, open the eyes again, let's come, well, uh, let's come to the wall, we're doing a short inversion here, if you have a wall, if you don't have a wall you can also go up just like this with your legs, if you have a wall you just go and put your legs up on the wall, this is variant one, if this feels good to you. You're good to go here, just stay here. If you want to go to variant two, place your elbows next to your body, shift your hips up, grab onto the hips, extend the legs, and breathe in deeply. Important here is don't, don't look left or right, because there's a lot of tension on your neck, on your head. You just look up into the sky and breathe in deeply. Let all the blood come down from our tippy toes and get that 
blood reoxygenated. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come down. Re relax to the side for a moment. Just feel how your blood is flowing down into your legs, into your toes, into your feet. Breathing in deeply, relaxing here. And then sit yourself up, come into a comfortable seat. Yep. Comfortable seat and we're doing some pranayama. And we're just doing the square breathing. I'll explain it first. So how this goes, pranayama means breath work. Or, or breathing we do even not it doesn't really mean that but it's breathing <laughs> so we're breathing in for four cycles breathe in two three four then hold the breath two three four then breathe out two three four then hold the breath two three four and we repeat and we do this uh right away so we just keep breathing in two cycles really deeply and then we go ahead for about Four minutes and then we find we come to a final position. So breathe in deeply and let go and breathe in one more time as deeply as you can. And let go and let's start. Anytime this becomes suffocating, you can just release and come to a deep breath again. So let's start. Breathe in two, three. Four, hold the breath, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four, and keep going. You can instead count of six or eight if you like. Keep the breath constant when you're breathing in or breathing out. Keep it constant, controlled. I'll join in now.
Next time you breathe in, you can come back to a normal breath. Slowly come out of the sitting pose and lie back on your back. Oh, I can explain it. Lie back on your back. Toes are facing outward and hands are next to your body and open towards the sky. So toes are facing outward, hands are open to the sky and next to your body. Release the head down and breathe in deeply. Come into Shavasana, close your eyes and just be. Don't need to do anything here. Not breathing deeply, just be. Just be. And then slowly deepen your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toes. And when you're ready, draw the knees into your body. And let yourself fall down either on the left side or on the right side. Coming completely onto your side. Releasing all the muscles one more time, all the muscles. Check in with your legs, with your belly, with the neck, with the head, with the tongue, with the shoulders. All the muscles released. Breathe in deeply and feel carried by the earth, by the gravity of the earth. One more deep breath in and bring yourself to final sitting pose. Coming up through the side, leaving the eyes closed if possible. Let's do one more thing here. Let's give yourself a big hug. So big hug for yourself. 
moment that you're here and that you're doing something for yourself. So bring the hands in front of your heart. And I'm wishing you a really wonderful day filled with love and connection. Release the hands and open your eyes. Bye-bye.